And just talk to us about, about where Pochettino's head may be at. I don't know if he'll decide to stay in, in Manchester uh, uh, after that this evening. Look, they're, they were, they're 11 points clear in the French League. They were only narrowly beaten uh, tonight. But there's been so much talk about whether he, he might be fancy in Man United. Did it look like a team that their manager was working his ticket there tonight to you? Well, his team didn't respond to whatever preparations they did for the game. I, mean, I, I showed some clips before the game of them working hard in the first match and the front three <coughs> been very much part of that, Messi, um, Messi and Neymar included. But tonight, as I said at half-time, it looked like they'd kind of gone on strike in protest or something. They didn't run, didn't get about, just allowed Manchester to run the ball out in the back. In contrast, Manchester City worked really, really hard, pressed them all over the pitch, didn't allow them to get into any fluent flow in any way. So I, I, he could well be looking at his team tonight and saying, that wasn't good enough. But, you know, in the overall sense, would you say that would deflect him from trying to be successful with PSG? Maybe he, his, his brain will be torn by the approach of Manchester United, by the uncertainty and the general attitude of PSG to managers mm. that they're disposable if you don't win the Champions League. Uh, it's not good enough to just win the win the league anymore. We, we, the, the approach of, of, of the leaders would be, we've spent so much money and presented you with so much talent, you've got to do you it. You have to deliver. Um, you know, it, 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 like, it's hard for him because... Everyone knows the type of manager Pochettino is high intensity, high energy. You know, look at his Spurs team. Um, he must be under an enormous amount of pressure that these lads are going to play and they're going to play. And there was no energy one before them. And if they don't that first want to do the running, <laughs> it means he can't implement his beliefs and his kind of it thoughts wouldn't be only on his the game. Beliefs either, Damien. Like most, <clears throat> nearly every manager in the game, there's very few managers will put up. I mean, yeah. you know, compared to Manchester United, one even, for instance, and the amount of discussion around Ronaldo, whether it's right or wrong, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying one way or the other, but that discussion is there, that Ronaldo doesn't press and doesn't do enough, and it's part of the problem around Manchester United. So that's the way the game has gone. The days of yeah, but, but, ha having a fella hanging but I think, But I think Pochettino has such a clear style. You know, everyone, everyone saw it at Tottenham, on the full-backs, high intensity <coughs> up and down, two number sixes in front of the two centre-backs, wide players tucked in, and it was all about recovery runs, slowing down counter-attacks. He has such a distinctive energy, style of play. Energy, lots of energy. Yeah. And recovery runs are huge when they turn the ball over. They attack in numbers. When they turn it over, they really bust the gut to get back in, and the two number sixes slow down any counter-attack. He must find it very hard to implement yeah. any of his in beliefs. Fairness, I think he put up with Ericsson not, oh, he's walking ferociously hard for Spurs. I watched a lot of Spurs and Ericsson used to hang about. And I think they, they, they found a formula to cope with that in his time. But this team is the other extreme. If you've yeah. got two out of the front three not doing it, and the midfield players aren't good enough. They're not as good as Manchester City's midfield to control to cover, the game, yeah. to allow that. They're workhorses. I think that's why he plays those three workhorses. Yeah, uh, too, too much luxury. It is Paris, of course.